this idea on YouTube. Dumas 5000 had a YouTube channel and he had this on his table saw. Just want to say thanks for the idea and good ideas. All right. Well, as most people do, I made a crosscut sled and I wanted a fence, stop block fence that just slides in and gets out of the way. And I don't, I, you know, T tracks, you know, I've, I've used them and I bought one here the other day, but you know, why not uh, try and make it to where you don't have to cut up your your uh, crosscut sled and your other stuff? You know, I was trying to develop a fence system that works good, and I saw this design on the web. Uh, hey, that's what I need to do. And um, what happens with this is there's not enough support, even with this one inch block in here. Maybe if they were taller. And what this does is it pushes out, there's a bolt inside here, and it pushes this piece of quarter-inch plywood up against the the dip, the fence, and it locks it. The only problem is, is this is pushing this away from here. And so what I'm going to do is put a cap up here, plywood, and lock it in with some Baltic birch so that this doesn't take, but this will still flex in and out and make a shim for it to fit. So... Um, it'll work either way. I may trim the jig down just a little bit because it's starting to get kind of wide, but I'll uh, I'll dress that here in just a little bit. So there you have it. Um, I thought maybe if I added a, a bolt up across here to strengthen this, that that would fix it, but it doesn't. And this is the, the other uh, joint. So I'm going to put a little saddle across there on both sides. That'll make that rigid. The inside will still flex out it just this will keep this from doing it so that ought to take care of my situation all right so what i did is i cut the this down from this size but you can see the difference i don't really need the knob but uh up there but and then i took two of these and i'm going to glue them together and this should provide the uh, that's baltic birch uh i'm not sure what that is but it's a about a half inch and uh, that should provide the stamina for that to clamp down on it so then to yeah. and also I went to a stereo shop and uh, they had these throwing them away in the dumpster and I picked up a big box of them and I have used them and used them and used them um, this stuff's expensive in the states so um, anyway so check around at your little local shops so there you are so this one's going to get cut down half inch on both sides that one and then we'll see how this works all right a little bit of core uh, quarter inch uh, nuts that are 7 16 head size and a little bit of scrap oak it was probably less than six feet long and i have 34 <laughs> knobs there plus i made another i don't know 16 no 10 then so I've made about 44 knobs um, on some jigs and just different things. So I've uh, made a uh, modification on my fence here. So anyway, Knob City. Uh, the only expense I really have in them is the nuts and then a little electricity in my time. But that's probably two hours worth of work. Um, cutting those out, pressing them in, sanding them. And, uh, yeah, now I got more knobs than I know what to do with. But, hey, they're very useful. Um, been working on the fence. I actually used this thing a couple times today. I just had a little bitty table, and it's nice to have a little bit bigger work surface. And this, the fences slide. I've got another fence over here that slides back and forth. And it uh, works pretty good. I'm thinking about maybe doing something for the CNC as well because I use a MDF top work. And uh, anyway, I don't know. Right now I'm using screws, so that works pretty good. Alrighty, I needed a, a stop block for the crosscut saw. Made this crosscut saw about a, year, a couple years ago. Just love it. Um, I didn't cut in T tracks into it. I did actually buy some, but um, I just, you know, I didn't want to take this all apart and rip it. I've got it to where it's cutting 100% on the money. I mean, like within a thousandth degree of square. So everything's perfect so i didn't want to really change the fence any um and just reuse it so i decided i would make a, a non-offensive 
stop. And what's neat about these stops is they're easy to take them off and they're real easy to move around. And then you just crank the knob down. And what this does is it pushes this little quarter inch piece of plywood in inside that, which causes a web and that thing, it, it locks in. I mean, I'm shaking the whole table saw. So uh, I had I had tried different means to get it to lock and uh, this one of course has got a little more slop in it this one here is uh, a little tighter fit and it doesn't quite expand out quite as much but you know you can sit there and draw that thing in there and it, it shakes the table saw i mean it's it doesn't uh it's not going anywhere and what's nice about this is it comes off easy and what it is is this little piece of quarter inch plywood is just only glued at the top up here and it's not glued to this piece here or this piece here or this piece here and inside there's there's a carriage nut with a bolt inside right here and the carriage nut sits down here where it's still flush with the inside of this board here and then there's a 7 16 nut on the back side of it so that it won't strip out and then i just double nutted the carriage bolt here with the with the handle i've got a uh, cnc file I will cut these out if you're needing any of those. Uh, it's on my uh, website, readyrangers.tzo.com on YouTube. Anyway, great little uh, great little device. Uh, you want to put a stop in there. I mean, it ain't moving. So, you know I mean, and it fits with the spence. It also is uh, configurable enough to where, you know, you can put it anywhere you want it to, really. You want to put a stop in there. Um, and you didn't want anything up top here or, or whatever so you know there it is there and you can see there now something that i that i learned i've got this off idea off of youtube and the guy who made the plywood blocks here and but he hadn't put this out here well it needs a gusset to reinforce it otherwise this right here just causes this thing to come out kick out so this is glued on to this block and all the way across there but don't glue the quarter inch uh, board inside and uh you know it's you know it's these are easy to make but you know as soon as you crank that out this thing pushes out let me go ahead and crank it a couple times and you'll see what i'm talking about and see this so this makes a nice wedge and it just really tightens the fence it goes in uh, and these are relatively new so there's a little bit stiff but uh you know what what i have in the thing it's all scrap and uh the nut and the carriage bolt and I probably don't even need the screws in there i had originally i tried uh beefing this up with a nut bolt that went all the way across here like this and it still wasn't enough to keep this from coming out so i mean there you go there i mean you just you crank it down in there that baby ain't gonna move i mean you know i just about picked the saw up it's almost like a c-clamp um in strength of course it's not but uh, you know but that and they're not intrusive i mean they're not they don't get in your way and it's pretty nice that way